welcome to the learn from legends episode today we're gonna be taking a look at the game played between paul murphy and adolf anderson so for those of you who don't know paul murphy is one of the best attacking players in chess history and this game proves it for us so e4 he played it for most of his in most of his games at some point i heard the stories he became so good that it made him play a3 on the first move to make sure you know his opponents have chances he was so bored imagine magnus starts playing a3 against hikaru against fabi against other top chess players so adolf anderson responds with a regular e5 what was played knight f3 g6 we got the philidor defense on the board and after g4 the usual continuation would be e takes d4 knight d4 with the simple play for white and kind of simple play for black as well but adolf anderson played bishop g4 please note that this game was played in 1850s it was almost 200 years ago that's absolutely insane and of course at that time people didn't really know any theory and of course bishop g4 is one of those moves which don't make a lot of sense so he takes a fight and now the point is that after he takes a fight there is queen g8 knight king g8 and knight f5 and white are up a pawn so adolf plays bishop f3 and guys this is a very well known game and i think I was doing a speedrun at some point and I faced bishop g4 and won in the same manner. Queen f3, d takes a 5 So now the material is equal, but the problem is, you know, this queen is very active. And look, f7 square is the weakest square on the board in the starting position. f7 and f2. And because simply uh, white move first and then okay, I can attack this f7 square faster they have advantage so bishop c4 knight f6 so now you will see what the problem with knight f6 is so according to the computer the best move would have been this and then again queen b3 attacking b7 square and now knight g7 sacrificing the pawn because after queen b7 rook b8 queen d5 g6 or like queen g6 no it kind of still white are in favor but it's not that clear but after what happened in the game knight f6 now white have a huge advantage because look f7 square attacked and this square is attacked and the problem is now queen was on f6 it was protected f7 square and queen b7 you know black could have played knight d7 but if they play knight d7 now Bishop f7, queen f7, queen f6 just ends the game with the checkmate. So instead, queen f7 is played, and now knight c3. Not even taken on b7, though it was an option. Paul Murphy plays knight c3. He develops pieces before taking pawns. Because after queen b7, maybe he was, you know, he didn't want his opponent to go to the end game. So he decided to go for knight c3. c6. And now, you know, this pawn is protected, this pawn is protected, Adolf protected everything now. And Paul Murphy plays Bishop G5, pinning this knight. And now, obvious looking move which Adolf did loses the game by force. So according to computer, Queen C7 should have been played. And then, you know, maybe develop knight, maybe go Bishop C5 but b5 and here this is where the attacking thing comes in bam knight b5 first brilliant of the game c take b5 bishop b5 knight d7 and now a long castle and look now rook d7 is being threatened and it's very hard rook d8 skidish rook d7 is played so this knight can take because this is pinned with the queen and if this rook takes pin and again this rook can't take there is a pin there is a pin you know 
everything is spinned and black have no moves and this position is lost for them. It's lost for Adolf Anderson. He plays Queen of Six. He's trying to you know to hold more. Bishop d7. And now guys. Look, the problem is again Queen d7 loses, because obviously Rook d7. What was played was Knight d7, which is a mistake. Again, we do no trades because then we go down a piece, but still you know it's probably good for white pieces. Here you can pause the video and try to find the move that Paul played here. I mean it's quite obvious here, but anyways. So look, Bishop is watching towards the skin. And let's say we remove the knight from d7, rook d goes to d8 and it's a checkmate. So how can we distract this knight from d file so we can slide our rook to 8th rank and checkmate black skin? And the move to do it is an absolute banger queen b8. Another brilliant move and the game just ends in two moves because this is the only move. Knight b8, rook d8 is a checkmate. And what's interesting, Paul played many of those games. You can check his page on chess.com, you can just google Paul Murphy, best attacking games because this guy was just a monster. He was one of the best players in uh, 1850s, late 1860s. He was destroyed, guys. I mean, uh, that guy was a monster, you know, people still study his games because they are just brilliant. But I'll see you in the next episodes of Learn From Legends. Bye-bye.